Christ again. Well, I've been on earth for about three months now, trying to prepare everyone for the apocalypse. You can read about it here. But uh, nobody seems to care. So I decided to go out and just do some movie reviews for the summer, which is really my favorite time of the year, not Christmas. And the blockbuster season is off to a great start with Iron Man. As everybody knows, I'm sure, Iron Man is a big comic book hero movie. But it got me thinking. You know who the first comic book hero is? You know who the first superhero of all time was? Yeah, me. The big JC. Think about it. What are the parts of a great superhero? First, you've got the secret origin. Well, what's more secret than getting born in a manger in the middle of the night with wise men and everybody looking for you? Pretty cool, huh? Second, you got to have the superhero learning his powers. Well, they had me turn some of the water to wine for some of the frat boys down at the dorm. They had me healing some lepers and raising the dead. You know, kind of experimenting a bit with the mojo. Three, secret identity. Iron Man and Tony Stark. Right? Spider-Man and Peter Parker. And me? Well, let me break it down for you. Jesus Christ, King of the Jews. Jesus Christ, King of the Jews. See? And you gotta have the love interest. You know, like Pepper Potts or uh, what's the name, the red-headed chick from Spider-Man. Well, for me, Mary Magdalene, baby. Yeah, I know, it's all diddy diddy didn't he? Well, all right, big battle. You think uh, Iron Monger or the Green Goblin's a big battle? Try the whole Roman Empire. It's Satan, okay? You don't get any bigger and better than that. And then for the big dramatic comeback at the end, coming back from the dead, JC's the total superhero package. So, of course, the question is, who would win in a fight between Iron Man and Jesus Christ? Well, let's break down some of the major powers here. First up, Iron Man can fly. Fly faster than the speed of sound. Boom, Mach 1. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got walking on water. Duh, you know what, I have to give that one to Iron Man. Not really, uh, not really quite the comparison there. But let's go on to number two, repulsor rays. Iron Man has the repulsor rays in his palms. Very nice, very slick, look good on the screen. JC's got the guilt ray. I don't have to be looking at you. You can be out of, you know, 100 yards away. I can hit you halfway around the world and tell that you're in the bathroom with the door closed. Bam, guilt city. I win on that one. And number three, rocket launchers. Iron Man's got some pretty nice rocket launchers. Takes out a tank and a couple other pieces of artillery. But I've got the smiting. Now you got your New Testament smiting, which is pretty good, but I can also call up the Old Testament smiting. I can bring up the bears to devour you. I got a pillar of salt I can turn you into. You want locusts, frogs from the sky, angel of death, rivers of blood? Right here. I think JC takes this one two out of three. Now I know this still leaves open some other major questions that many of you have, like who would win in a fight between Batman and Wolverine, but well, the Lord likes you to figure out some mysteries for yourself. All in all, Jesus Christ gives Iron Man four and a half loaves. Holding back a half loaf just because, as I pointed out, as a superhero, Iron Man's a bit, uh, a bit derivative. This is Jesus Christ out for this movie review. And remember, I'm watching you.